person. Go low key. Box off for this one. Or 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 we pull our Crocs in sports mode. All of our Crocs in sport mode. My oh, no, shit is already in sports mode. Bro. I hate sports mode, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only do it if it's Next. like I'm like running, bro. Oh, yeah. no, mine are in sports mode. It's, it's over, bro. It's over. Whether they can prevent that initial planting to begin with, oh, because no. you cannot imagine what comes afterwards. Pocket. Pocket in the zone right now. What a flash! They lines up! What a flash from the KO! Pocket gets them all. They want to play aggressively out here. It's only one left to go. X Factor can do all they want, but it's a flawless even with the blind on. Abo finds two. Pocket finds three. The full house of kills for the flawless. A turnaround for the Sea Wolves. So they start planning the spike. There is an alarm bot waiting for them at the same time. Wow. However, nobody running into the alarm bot. Knife is gone, so no suppression either. There's going to be the lockdown already. Defo. Can they beat the Defo. lockdown? Timing is the question. Zepho finds two. They have the lockdown for HPU, but they got to stay in it. But the lockdown now destroyed. It was outside of the corner. GK gets one, but it might not be enough. 2v4. He, here comes the cavalry. From Stony Brook, the Sea Wolves, a pair on each side. One gets one, and the other from Jord gets Dolo. And Stony Brook has turned their fortunes two straight rounds for them. It's opting for a pick. They go pick, sights, plants, and then they kind of win with the numbers Ooh. advantage. Andre. Andre didn't see his foot. Andre had the Andre had the foot of Pocket, but Pocket got there first and didn't see the foot whatsoever. What a flash around the corner, though. Little Scooby Boo's able to get rid of the no command for right now. Jord, though, getting at least one headshot, looking for another. Jord gets it back. And now it's a 2v2 scenario, making a 1v2 essentially with that KO timer running out. So it's a 1v2. Those Scooby Boo picks up the thing, but do they have enough time for the rest? Oh, no. no. Abel goes down, but that's okay. Stony Brook brings it back. They're within one to tie it at the half. Trying to change up some looks here if they want some kind of progress right now. Stony Brook, 8 6 lead. Now just looking around to see if they can give themselves a chance. There's the turret already gone, and this is a lot faster oh, than yeah. what previous rounds were. Last round, Stony Brook was all kind of just listening to elevator music. This time around, they're listening to heavy metal. <laughs> they got themselves already two kills with the Sheriff, mind you, and the headshots. Seawolves have already got B, and this is just a harder sequence to work with now. Dolo's got some information, at least from the sounds of all the walking around the corner. But Dolo now spotted out by the jet. They know they can't really do anything about it. This is a hard retake to work with. Absolutely, and they've got to keep in mind the timings of everything, right? They know that it's been a little bit tough for them getting onto site, and Abel getting a 3k with the Sheriff in hand. Absolutely insane performance here. Crosshair placement is just very, very good, and we are seeing it. Same pattern again. Not You're up? So over them. Sheesh. About to eat them for I'm breakfast, lunch, and dinner I'm, uh, at Zippy's. Oh god, bro, I'm gonna become the Whopper Dater. Is that what we're calling Oppers now? Whoppernators? Whopper Daters, bro. Like, like from, the... wait, for like from McDonald's? The Whopper? Like, Whopper's not from McDonald's, bro. That's from Burger King's. Is it actually? You are lost. You are lost, I bro. thought this guy was joking. Is he being serious? Yeah, he's dead serious. I don't go <laughs> outside, man. I don't go Bro, outside. you don't see McDonald's yeah. ads on like Twitch stream or something? No, bro. 12-7, your scoreline. Uh, Stony Brook leads it. Needing to find here and Andre doing basically what Pocket did. Yes! No flashes available, but Zephyl though sniffs out GK and that's a big one because all the KJ utility down now. Down. Gone. Vamos. Oh, 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 around the corner spots Andre oh. and Andre in a heap of trouble. Does not have a deck. Spock. And there is the shock dart. Runs right into it. Could have just backed away from it, but no. Runs right into the shock dart. HBU down two. And the Swan Stong is starting to begin. They smelled something fishy. They were like, you can't use our own play against us. We already did this. There's Abel taking another down one, one more. Yep, Abel gets one. There's going to be the lockdown. Brought out from the Killjoy. X-Factor gets it, but that lockdown's going to be oh so important. They could take care of A. However, lockdown's on A, but look where the rest of the team is going. They're going to go up B instead. What's well, a 1v3 scenario now. Someone's going to run away for their life. Just gets out of it in time. Has the Vandal in head. Shoot. And it's going to flick Good onto swing. Abel. What a swing. What a flick. Does it keep HPU alive, though? Spike is starting to go down. Time dwindles away. Not a lot of information to work with either. They're not going to peek this owl drone. Both of the players are inside a boathouse right now. But you got to go now or never, especially in a 1v2 scenario. Blind is going to hit. But they don't know that just yet. Spike's starting to run out of time. Can it, little Scooby Boo make this alive for HPU? Gets They're gonna double peek by one. No. Only needs one to peek. Kaiser around the corner does it, and Stony Brook a 13 to seven victory gives themselves a matchup at a three and one record. They're now one win away from that magic number to match up with Michigan State in the finals.
Uh, and what Abel... Okay, Abel was hovering it for a second. We could have seen the newest uh, agent here was hovering it, and uh, well, what Stony Brook will do is just hover everything on Reyna right now, and who knows what that... Are they going to play the randomizer game, I guess? Oh, they're not. Like, but you only say something's techy if it's got fruit. But you might lie in Hold on, like... It's like bad. Everyone's lagging, bro. Yo, my hands Wait, I got bad. one pack of loss, bro. I think we tech. I think we tech. Alright, let's get another dub in here. Yes, sir. Wait, can I zephyl peek? Yeah, bro. I, you zephyl peek him. You have to. Wait, okay. Who's boss? My goal this game is to get more assists than last game. My goal is to drop a 30 bomb. I had my goal is to not drop assists. 13. My goal is to attempt to get 20. Alright, man. Yo, what if Wait. these guys know exactly what we're doing on pistol round because they watched us? What if they have like a spire? Wait, really? No. <laughs> but I gotta get into my rank mindset where I just don't come, you know what I mean? Perfect. Oh, Perfect. All right, All right, I'm dropping 25. <laughs> minus four. <laughs> minus twenty. <laughs> Alright guys, so what are we doing? Let's whisper. Alright, anyway. Yo, let's spin once. Alright guys, hold on. He cheated off. Anyway, alright. Can't really purchase a Vandal without having to downgrade to a light shield. And so, I think they're just going with it, just in case that there is a potential for the Vandal to show up. We're not going to be able to match it, they're just going to stick with the pistols. On the peak, just taking firing range from the classic. Messi's going to avenge his fallen brethren, but... But at the same time, just no more in general here. Zephyl, though, is going to make the big difference on the pistol round for them. And Pocket picking up the Spectre is able to get that one, but Encrypto takes it right back. Encrypto will TP away, but now knows the position. But there are two people so low in the mid lane area. Ghost will provide backup here as they run it all the way around. They did hear a little bit of noise, and Abel with the Sheriff in hand, looking to see if he can get anything in Crypto. Oh boy. Trades one for one, but he's not the one with the spike, so the plant is initiated. It is going to begin, but it's not going to complete. 10 seconds left on the clock. Ten seconds not left. in heaven. Coming down from the back side here. Five seconds left to go around the corner. It's going to be Ghost versus Kaiser. Plant will go down in time, but it's going to be the battle of the one. He can seize it. Does anybody want to take that fight as the question? Around the corner, it will come. Messi tried with the Sheriff. No luck. Zephyl finds the head first. And the head will roll down on the ground. Zephyl also getting Cootie while Cootie was going for the Guiding Light, mind you. And now it's going to be George getting the drop down kill. Pocket will turn around and find Ghost. It's a flawless round here in what was an econ round. They have been doing consistently, but it is this retake that they need to improve on. And Crypto, with an angle, is only able to trade one for one. Ghost blinded, though, doesn't see Abel coming in. And now Curie, half health, no health, going down. It's now 3v1 left. 3v1 left to go down here. Zephyl. I'm getting Welcome able to get the raise here, and it's also going to be the Viper Spit that's going to be pulled out. So the spike will be planted down inside of that Viper Spit. Stops the plan for just a couple of moments. Zephyl will enter the Viper Spit here. Zephyl gets one, looking around the corner. It will drop down, down to about 30 health, but we'll get the health back thanks to the DK. So real health is now at set 70. Around the cage, we'll get another one. It's a 1v1. It's a more manageable 1v1 here. Health bar wise, and Crypto's the lower one, and Zephyl will clutch it up with the kill. And it's 7 to 2 coming up. Zephyl with three kills all on the B side and all of it to defuse. UH has to make some manual magic happen, but unfortunately not on their home campus. They are on the home of the Sharks of HBU. The Annihilation Ooh. is there, and I believe the Annihilation does get one at the very least. Yes, it does. On to Encrypto, and it's both That's of them it. Down. That's it? That is it. It will just wipe away the Annihilation. It's the final blow there, and Stony Brook University wins it. They are now have a 4-1 and one record. Tiebreakers be damned. We don't need those. We just know that whoever's winning this surfboard trophy at the end is going to be from the main 48 states. No surprise. It is just the standard composition. No changes at all. No deviations from the formula. And about the radar arrow with a great bounce to see if there's anything, although it hits the... Back wall, so it won't find anything in market. Oh, oh, the collateral! They line up. Pocket finds a pair. He's able to find at least the kill. Jord there as well. We'll get one through the wall. Jord finds another one. Two clips. You can add on to the highlight reel for Stony Brook in this round alone. Frog is the only one left alive. Jess with the Sheriff does find one. It's not going to matter. Avoids the flawless, but that's about it. Stony Brook takes the lead for the first time. Retake, but. Do they have time? If Stony Brook plays this oh. fast enough, they could potentially clear and hold. They gotta get on site if you're Michigan State. 1v4, can Slap do it? There's one, two, looking for three. There's the shorty. They no, get the but defuse. they defuse. 
Oh man, close round. Unfortunately, they had one too many players to worry about. There's no info from that initial drone, but they'll use the lockdown. No Zepho worried about a flank, but instead now clear sight. Oh. There's one. Frog is gone. They know the soul was off sight, and tendency is that Killjoy's flanking. They're gonna look for it. One. Able oh. finds it. There it is. Can they clear main? That's the question. Moonro gets the spam. But everyone else is on site. They take stock of the guns and they get the defuse. Stony Brook up three. Makes it a 2v3 scenario. Shock Dart comes out. Shock Dart doesn't find anything for right now. Slime is able to find the operator here. 1v3 for the Omen. Omen's able to find one on the headshot onto Slime. Just trying to ring around no the rifles. Rosie. One in hell and no, it's no rifles in hand. Just Sheriff here drops down. Wins at least one. Will turn around Woo! and gets the other. One in mid, actually. That's the omen, but that omen is gone by the hands of Pocky. He's setting that right away on the edge of that smoke. Meanwhile, oh. Abel's able to get one. Will now use the no command to make sure that it is all shut down. In fact, we really can't do anything but spam instead. The spam won by the Phantom. And even though Frog does take care of Abel, that's the KO down. You can't get rezzed up on the flawless round. Damn, it that's will rough. Be the end of the round. I thought you could rush your teammate no, no, right no, at the no, end no, there. No, 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 no. That's rough if you're Abel. You're like, all right, I know who my true friends are. Zepho. Went for the gun that just to look cool and look at the skin. Jord was the one that came back at him and was like, I got you, I'll pick you up. Even though the round was already won. Yeah. Even you though know, you know who your true homies are after that one. Yeah. Some in the blind. Finds him in the blind for right now. There's they do get the res off though. Frodo's able to get able though. And it's not it's a 3v3 scenario. Pocket does get Frodo. And now we get down to what could very well be the final moment. 30 seconds left to what could be Stony Brook's life here in the tournament. There's Frog getting a 2v2 situation. They won't get the plant down for Stony Brook. No command is still out and about. Pocket whiffs. Though, Pocket whiffs. And Frog is able to get it. Got to be the 1v1. The double peak. And that is it. The Spartans of Michigan State come from East Lansing, 4,400 miles away. And the Spartans have won in paradise.